Now in this question, we're asked to solve this differential equation. dy dx equals the root of 4y plus 3 all over x squared. And we're given that y equals 1.5 when x equals minus 2. And we're also asked to give our answer in the form y equals some function of x. So how do we do something like this? Well, we separate the variables, okay? And that means that we try and put all the x's on one side and all the y's on the other. So if I was to divide both sides by the root of 4y plus 3, I would get that therefore 1 over the root of 4y plus 3, okay, multiplied by dy by dx would equal 1 over x squared. And then if I remove this dx, put it over this side, I end up with 1 over the root of 4y plus 3, okay, dy equals 1 over x squared dx. And then at this stage I integrate both sides, so I'm going to have the integral of this side is exactly the same as the integral of that side, okay? Now, how do I integrate both of these? Well, for this one, we would change this to the integral of 4y plus 3 to the minus a half. Okay, minus a half dy. And for the other one, I'd think of that as the integral of x to the power minus 2, integrated with respect to x. Now, in the previous part, we actually did this integral, so we've got the solution to it. We did it by recognition or substitution, and it turned out to be a half of 4y plus 3 to the power a half. And if we integrate x to the minus 2, then we're going to get x to the power minus 1 divided by minus 1. Now, there's always going to be a constant coming from this integral and a constant coming from this integral. Now, if we took the constant hit from here over to the other side, the different constants, when they're grouped together, one constant minus another is going to give us another constant. So I'm just going to call that plus c. So if we come down here now, okay, and we need to tidy this up and work out what this constant c is going to be. If we tidy it up first of all, we're going to get half of 4y plus 3 to the power a half equals minus 1 over x plus that constant c. Now let's use this information up here then to get what c is. So we'd say that when y equals 1.5 x equals minus 2. So therefore, if we substitute this into this equation, let's call this equation 1, okay? Therefore, sub in 1, okay? And what we have is that 4 times 1.5 is going to be 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. 9 to the power half is 3. And so you've got 3 over 2. So we have 3 over 2 equals, and if we substitute minus 2 in for x, we've got minus 1 over minus 2, which is going to be a half, okay, plus that constant c. So if we take half from both sides, it follows that c equals 1, okay. Now we've got that, we can sub back into 1 again, so sub in 1, and we've got half of 4y plus 3 to the power half equals, I'm going to write the c first, it looks better, 1 minus 1 over x, 1 minus 1 over x, okay? Now remember we've got to make y the subject from here on, so there's many ways that we could do this. I'm going to times both sides by 2, and if we do that we get 4y plus 3 
to the power half equals and if we times by 2 we're going to get 2 here minus 2 over x or you could have left 2 out as a, uh, a, a factor 2 bracket 1 minus 1 over x up to you okay um, what can we do next let's square both sides because we've got a square root here squaring both sides gives us 4y plus 3 equals 2 minus 2 over x all squared subtract 3 and then if we do that we've got 4y equals 2 minus 2 over x all squared minus the 3 and if we divide by 4 it would look better if we times both sides by a quarter we'll get y equals a quarter of all of this answer 2 minus 2 over x all squared minus 3 okay so there's one version I'm sure you can come up with many more variants of this particular answer and I'm sure any providing you haven't made any mistakes all of them are going to be just as valid, okay?